Prediction, they beat Youngstown State this week. What do you think for Penn State? Win? Uh, I'm with you on this Put this win in the win column? I, I like them. I like okay. them when we're young. I like, I like them in this spot. <laughs> Is this a reloading or a rebuilding season for Penn State? I think it's, I think it's more of a rebuilding. Uh, you know, they, they've been really good for like five years in a row now, really. And, and uh, I, I think that the, they have some holes and they have, uh, this feels like a, uh, it's a, the toughest schedule they've played in the last five or six years for sure. And, and, and I, it feels like there's a ceiling a little bit on what's possible in this season. And maybe what this season is about is figuring out who the starting quarterback is going to be for 2011. We're going to talk more about that quarterback in our other Penn State segment when we talk right. offense. This one's more of a defensive right. one. Uh, what I think is interesting was it is a tough schedule, and I don't know if they're as prepared for that. Some of its graduation, they lost three tremendous linebackers. One of them left early because he was that good Bowman, left a year early. And the same with the defensive line. They probably thought they still had Audric again this year, the kid out of Lebanon, and he's gone a little bit early too, and a fantastic player. How do they replace these guys? Who's stepping in? Well, Devin still is going to be a, a, a tackle who I think is going to be a – played some last year, and he's, he's a real guy. solid kid, big guy. Uh, I think the coaches like him. I, th- I don't think he's going to be as good as Hodrick, but I think he's going to be pretty good. And they also have a kid named Jack Crawford at one of the defensive ends right. who is a kid who might be able to emerge as kind of a star this year. Really gifted, mm-hmm. did not play high school football because he's from – uh, across the Atlantic, mm-hmm. and uh, he, he's a guy who might be coming into his own as an athlete. I wanted to bring up uh, Crawford's number 81. If he takes his helmet off, shaved head uh, across the Atlantic, he's from England and only started playing the sport later in his career. Mm-hmm. But a very talented player. I think we may see him in the NFL uh, in, in the near future Certainly as well. possible, yeah, absolutely. Who's come stepping in linebacker? Who, who's going to replace Bowman, Hall, and uh, who am I missing here? Is the other guy? Uh, Sean Lee. Sean Lee, yeah. Who's now with the Dallas Cowboys. So, I mean, all three, of those like guys, all three of those guys moved on to the NFL. So, we now have about six linebackers. Uh, uh, guys like Nate, Nate Stupar, Chris Colasanti, uh, Bonnie Bayou, and, and uh, a bunch of guys. Uh, Mike Maudie is, the, is, I think, the wild card factor here. He's the guy who blew out his knee last year. Everybody thinks he has a chance to be great. They really could play six or seven linebackers, I think. Marty was supposed to be sort of the, the changing of the guard. They've gone from Plosneski, I hope I said it right, it's been a while, right, to, to Connor, to, to Lee. It was supposed to be Marty in there next. Now, if it wasn't for the knee, I think you would have seen him sort of in oh, there no with, doubt you would with Lee last, last year. year, and they would have. But then the funny thing was Hall replaced Marty, and Hall had a great year. It was yeah, all Big did. Ten. Yeah, yeah, one did. made one of the squads. Not, not as much of a – not as much of a – Pass coverage guy, right, though. Right. I mean, I mean, I think Marty would have been just his athleticism would have been a little better in that role. All right, defensive back. We can talk a little bit more about this guy on the offensive side too. But Chaz Powell, it was listed here in the depth charts. I think if I'm looking at the depth charts, you. He's first string, and he's not playing defense well, now. Ch- Chaz What's Powell from York County was the uh, first couple years at Penn State was a. Um, offensive player. This spring they decided to move him over to defense, defensive back. He is listed on the depth chart as of two days ago as the start as yeah. a starting cornerback. But in the Joe Paterno press conference that I just came from, the telephone press conference, Joe sort of casually announced that uh, Chaz is no longer on defense. He's oh, back to way. offense again. So uh, I you know I, I think as a reaction to some injuries and things. So so um, a, a sort of casual scoop from Joe for whatever it's worth. We've got some good guys. We've got some good athletes out there on the defensive side. I think they're going to be fun to watch, but it's going to be a lot more shuffling of guys early on in the year. Isn't I it? think so, and maybe throughout the year. I think they're going to play a lot of people at linebacker, and they may play uh, a lot of people in the secondary too. Uh, I, I think Penn State's going to be okay in this area. It's it's just it's a little bit more fluid than it's been the last couple of years. 